What's up guys, Grape here with another review. Today we're going to check out the SH Figuarts Star Wars Clone Trooper Phase 1 action figure. I know I've been away for a little while, I've been busy playing Star Wars Battlefront, which is a pretty awesome game, especially if you're a huge Star Wars fan. If you're just an FPS fan, you might get a little annoyed at it, but anyway, that's for another video. So we'll start the review by checking out the packaging as always, and it's fairly typical for your SH Figuarts Star Wars line. You have the big window up front with the Star Wars on there and you can see the action figure and all the accessories on the inside. We've got the little label underneath that gives you the figure name, in this case the Clone Trooper Mark 1. On this side you have a picture of the figure with the Star Wars logo and the figure arts logo. It's got a few images from the movies as well as a few different poses for the figure itself and some interesting Japanese writing. And on this side you have the usual Star Wars graphics that are on all the boxes for this line. And you've got the Star Wars logo and Figure Arts logo up top. And on the bottom you've got some Japanese writing. So now check out the accessories. And it does come with two guns. You have the large rifle here. This is a DC-15A rifle. It's got some really nice silver paint accents here on the handle. And those are very nice and precise. And you've got some gunmetal paint on the bottom here. And other than that, there's really not much paint. You have a little bit of silver on the tip. It also comes with the smaller dc 15 s blaster carbine here, and you've got the same silver paint accents on the handle as well as on the tip of the gun. And like the other gun, these are both really nicely sculpted with some great details sculpted into them, very cleanly done, and there's really no issues on either paint or sculpt. You also get four sets of hands. You have these open hands here, and this is one of two sets of open hands. Those are the slightly curled fingers. You have the pointing hands, and these are used for holding guns or pointing. You also have the other open hands, and these are a little bit of a wider open hand here. And you have the ever-present fists, and these come installed on the character, and all the hands are really nicely sculpted, and the paint on the armor is fairly well done. Now check out the sculpt and paint on the figure itself, and this is a really nicely sculpted and painted figure. There's not a whole lot of paint on it, as it's mostly white. There's a little bit of paint on the chest and the helmet, but other than that, it is just a really nicely sculpted figure. You can see all the great details here in the paint on the helmet. It's some gray with nice little black streaks. You also have some really great sculpted details on the helmet here, especially in the back. You have a lot of details. Um, you've got this nice panel here on the back, which has all these little sculpted areas. You've got a really nice soft plastic belt here with a lot of detail on it. You've got a lot of notches and little submerged areas and raised panels, and it just looks phenomenal. You've got a nice little abdomen section here with some great sculpt and nice, clean, precise black dots. You got some interesting details here on the forearm, and this is only on the right forearm, I believe, and it does look pretty nice. And you've got these just great angles in this armor, which I really, really appreciate. And all the black areas have this rib texture, which looks really nice, um, really gives it a completely different feel than the armor. You got some nice treads on the bottom of the boots here, and these knee pads come off, and they just pop right in like that, and that's a pretty nice feature. Same with the elbow pads here. Those come right off, and you can see there's like an L-shaped joint, and they plug right back in. Not that you would really ever want to take them off, but maybe if you wanted to do some battle damage or something like that, it's a fairly interesting feature. And again, this is just a really nicely sculpted figure. I really like the angles and just the clean lines on this. It looks really, really nice. I think Figure Arts did a bang-up job on this. So now let's check out the articulation on the figure, and we will start with the head, and you can get him to look down about that far. He only looks up about that high, which isn't that great, but not terrible. It is a double-jointed head and neck, and you can get a little bit of tilt on there. You are blocked by the helmet on the shoulder armor, and you can rotate it pretty much all the way around. And he does have really good shoulder joints in here. You can see you can get him up really nice and high, which is nice. You're just blocked with the shoulder pads there. And you can rotate the shoulder inside the socket, and get some different angles out of that. And the shoulder pad itself is really nicely articulated. It is a hinge and it also twists here a bit as you can see, which is nice. You can kind of rotate it a little to get different angles. It does have a bicep swivel. You can get that around a decent amount. Double jointed elbows, although because of the armor you are blocked a little bit, so you're getting just slightly over 90 degrees, if not at 90 degrees exactly. And it does have a forearm swivel as well. And the wrists are a swivel and hinge type, as typical with all the figure arts. You can get that all the way around. And because of the armor, you're a little bit limited on the hinge action. 
does have a diaphragm joint, which is fairly decent, but you are a little bit limited by the armor. And let me try to isolate it here so you can get a good idea about it. And there we go. You can get them back and forth a little bit, not that much. Uh, same thing side to side. You can get a little bit of pivot on it. You would also rotate it a little bit, but again, you're hindered by the armor. But it does have an articulated waist as well. So when you add both of these in, you can see you can get some really good flex on there. You can get them pretty far back and a decent amount forward. And also side to side and the twist. Again, you can't get them all the way around, but it is pretty good. And this figure has some pretty good hips. You can get them all the way out if you twist the legs there. Uh, if you have them straight out, you can only get about that far. It does have an upper thigh swivel, so you can play with that a little bit. You can kick the legs forward just about 90 degrees, which is pretty good. Uh, you can only go back a little bit, maybe say 15 or 20 degrees or so. It does have double jointed knees. You can only get them about that far. The armor does hit there. Now check out the ankles, and they are limited by the armor a little bit. You can see you can only get them down and up that far. It does have really good toe articulation. You can almost get 90 degrees out of that. You can rotate the foot completely around the ankle, which is nice, as you can see. Unfortunately, the ankle pivot is a bit limited and not by the armor. It looks like it's just by the joint. You can see you can only get a few degrees there, which is a little disappointing. So now I'll check out the size and scale of the figure. And he stands at just a hair under six inches tall, as you can see here. And that fits in fairly well with the rest of the figure arts line. And here he is with the first order trooper from Black Series on the left and the original trilogy stormtrooper from figure arts on the right. So overall, I love this figure. I think the sculpt and paint on it are great. I think it's much better proportioned than the original Stormtroopers from Figure Arts. I think the articulation could be a little bit better in the ankles and the arms so you can get some better poses with the guns. But other than that, it's a phenomenal figure with great accessories and I think it'd be great in anyone's collection. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Subscribe for more. Set blasters on.